Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is in the 170 pound division. Our referee will be Chris Tione. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He entered the ring wearing the black trunks. He represents freestyle. Here is John Ripley. And fighting out of the blue corner, he wears the red and black trunks. He represents IMFC. Please welcome Ryan West. All right, so Ryan West certainly has the more impressive physique out of the two fighters. 3-0 and from Tennessee. Fights, trains out of Las Vegas now. But both these guys are unbeaten. West 3-0, and Ripley 2-0. and All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Down, a body lock, a takedown through the ropes. That was a wicked left hand right off the bat. How about this? And quickly looking for the reversal. John Ripley on the bottom doing a good job of controlling the posture of Ryan West. Now, what kind of technique do you use to break that? Is that exactly what you do, get the arm on the throat to, to break that? Get if, you're your on, if you're the guy on the bottom or on the top? If you're on top, if you're uh, Ryan West trying you need to... A, you, need a, you need a cross face to keep his head down. Wow. How about that as a reversal? Impressive moves. These guys are pretty slick on the ground. Absolutely. Scrappy. <laughs> After all of that, we end up with one fighter on the backside. We have Ryan on the back of John Ripley. Boy, they're scrappy. Ripley and West. And it looks like uh, Ripley ha has the uh, rear naked choke sunk in, but he can't flatten out the fighter and use both hands. The referee keeping a close eye on that, but Ryan West looks as if he's he's might be going to sleep here. I think West is on top. West is on top. West has his back. Yeah, yeah. West West okay. in the red trunks. West is in the West Ripley has the, the, the rear naked choke. Suck in there pretty deep. Saying stand it up, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Up in round he one. Might be able you to can't stand somebody up if he's got a rear naked choke sunk in like that. I mean, we saw a guy with a guillotine earlier. That's the end of the round. We have another famous person in the house right in the front row. Bad Chad Dawson. Is a that? fighter. He's, he's a main event fighter. He's uh, one of the top pound-for-pound pound boxers in the, in, in Tarver, the world. Fighting Tarver this next month. He's fighting Antonio, Tar Tar Antonio Tarver at the Hard Rock here in two weeks. Undefeated at like 27-0. and 0. Watching a little MMA. Watch this replay. Ugh. That was the... Left hand right off the bat by Ripley. Opening seconds of the round. West took him down. Almost went to the ropes. And you can see that West didn't want to stand and bang, so as soon as he got hit with that left, he's like, okay, we're gonna go to the ground now. All right, round two. All right, so we have John Ripley in the black and Ryan West in the red and black. The southpaw, wow. Boy, West throwing those punches. That is a lot of power. That is a lot of power, but credit Ripley with getting on top. Have a few enthusiastic fans standing right behind Chris Matthews, yelling into his microphone. Reaching over the ropes. <laughs> I think that he's flattened. Nope, he hasn't had him flattened out, but he's got good position. Ripley trying wow. to, to buck West off. I think West may be just a little bit too strong for him. I mean, 
trying to sink in that rear naked choke. West doing a, or Ripley doing a very good job of maintaining that right arm. Mouthpiece falling out of his mouth. I believe the referee can hear me because he <laughs> looked right at him. Throwing a Diego Corrales on us. He certainly is spitting the mouthpiece out. Throwing the, the mouthpiece out. Yeah. Biden time. Absolutely. Hey, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Don King I always said. Hey. They need to do something or they need to stand him up. He's flattened out. I believe that the referee's going to stop this here in a second if he keeps taking punishment. He's not really intelligently defending himself. He's taking punches. Oh, beautiful job by Ripley to, to, or West to set him up, soften him up so he can get that arm under there to get that rear naked choke. How about Ripley, though? Trying to sneak out the back door? Yeah. What is Ripley going to do now, Kim? Get control of the top. He's, oh, swinging wildly from his knee. Throwing haymakers from his knee. Beautiful left hook. He's got a guillotine sunk in. He's got it sunk in. He's got him in guard. And end of the round. End of the round. Wow. Another magnificent fight. Only two rounds. Look at these guys. How about that. Ripley throwing those haymakers from his knees? Exactly. <laughs> that was wonderful. <laughs> Ripley putting all of his might into his punches from his knees. They Look. both did a great job on the ground and standing. I mean, I mean, we've got West going for submission. <laughs> Ripley defending, throwing punches from his knees. I mean, this is what you can expect when you come to a tough enough fight, correct? Definitely advanced for for amateurs. The always dangerous knee haymaker. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get at the Mardi Gras Ballroom on a Friday night in Las Vegas. Absolutely. Hall of Famers in attendance as well as high-level professional boxers in the front row. All right, the final round in what's been a terrific fight so far. Look at the power that, that West has in his kicks and punches. I mean, he's much stronger than, than Ripley, but Ripley seems to have a little bit better technique. And probably. they got to bring him and stand him up. I know it's the third round, and we've already seen two rounds. Uh-oh. He may have hurt his... Uh-oh. Dislocation of the shoulder, or no? Wrist? Can he continue? Did he get his arm caught in the rope? He's working with just his left hand. The referee needs to go ahead and stop it. It's over. I, I think he, yeah, he, he might, have, it. He might have broke that small bone in his arm. Yeah, you can see that. Did, did he get it caught in the rope? It looked like he may have got it caught. Or he may have gotten it kicked. Caught in the ropes, kicked. Something happened. He's not grabbing it. Maybe he's all right. Wow. Well, you can see him at, at that, in the final seconds holding that right down, just kind of swinging with the left. Absolutely. As West comes over to uh, somewhat, get a nice hand. You're right. Somewhat anticlimactic with the way that those guys were going at it. I mean, tons of energy, tons of action in that fight for it to end that way. I mean, that, Ryan West just had maybe too much power for John Ripley. And Ryan West may be working on a tough enough belt as he improves to four and all. This is a replay. Nice, nice leg kicks. Right there, that kick right there looked like it hit him in that right forearm, and he's kind of doubled over right after he kicked him there. Right. It might have been just in the ribs, too. You're right. As West is throwing out T-shirts to the crowd. I guess that's what you can do when you're 4-0, huh? 4-0. <laughs> so, Ryan West from Tennessee comes away with a win. The volunteer, huh? Fight. We go up into the ring now for the ring announcer. Here is Jake. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout ends at 29 seconds of the third round. The winner by TKO.